Welcome back to Goblins and Warlots, uh, Dragonlance episode 36. Um, we we're also live on TikTok as well. So if you are following or watching on TikTok, but you would like to help out the players, you have to come over to Twitch. There's uh, redeems you can do. Exclamation point commands uh, gets you all the commands you need. And there's also viewer rewards to redeem for uh, magic items, determination. Everybody can only have one determination at one time. And uh, yeah, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and uh, tell us what your favorite part was. Uh, tonight we have uh, Cleansing Rain, who is playing Dashin. Hello, hello. I'm Cleansing Rain, I'm playing Dashin Yenvery, who is one step closer to materializing his goal of finding the Strummin, as he now is carrying a replica, and very excited to see what we're able to do with that. All right. Uh, person who plays in Inaris, uh, very vague on if they're going to join or not. Uh, they said they forgot, and I guess got a job and life's been crazy, but didn't you know, I don't know if they're joining or not. So, uh, so I'll just we'll continue on with him not in the story right now, I guess. And uh, we do have uh, Nihilish, is also a streamer who plays Vera. Hello, I'm Nihilish. I play Vera Mendazi, uh, your favorite, maybe favorite, only Paladin actually here. So, Paladin, Ender. Um, yep, that's about it. We have Bookworm that's playing Mela. Hi, Bookworm here. Um, yes, I play Mela, the kinder cleric um, of the group. So excited to see where we'll go tonight. And then we have Sindal playing Elishin. Yeah, let's go with that. Um, I am Elson, the human Elson. fighter. Who, according to Jugen, fighters are apparently very boring, and I my goal is to prove him otherwise. <laughs> I've also never oh. played a fighter, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, welcome in, Rad Trails. Can I get a shout out for Rad Trails? Uh, can I get a shout out for Rad Trails and Cleanser Rain and yourself, Nihilish, please? That would be wonderful. Thank you very much. Uh, that's well, um, I think, uh, I think that's. Pretty much all of our announcements. So, uh, been hard at work painting and everything, getting prepped for the charity event in October, which has also cleansing rain and knowledge in. So, uh, we'll be giving these lovely stickers away, along with some the uh, pink bracelets and this lovely one tenth scale carlac. And I'll probably be print. I still need to print off the shadow heart one too as well. Amongst other giveaways. But with that being said, let's get into tonight's episode. It's been two weeks and Clint uh, Dashin has recap. So stand by and we'll see you in a second. Waiting in the 
welcome back. Sorry about TikTok Live. I forgot there's a setting I need to put on so y'all can hear the music. I figured it out like halfway towards the end. <laughs> but anyway, uh, welcome back. And uh, Dashian, would you like to lead us into tonight's recap, please? You're muted, by the way. Okay. No, I know. I'm, I'm prepping. Well... <laughs> The last time you saw the fearless few. We traveled to Hearts Hollow, so full of charm and grace. Met the mayor named Ness, with a kind but hidden face. She turned out to be a dragon, with scales of shining bronze, and gave us a noble quest as the morning light dawns. We partied at the Salt Lick with drinks and songs to share. Laughter filled the taverns, and joy was in the air. Then off to Lavender's shop, where treasures we did seek. We found a strummin' there, and left with magic streak. Uh, that's about it, yeah. Uh, so yeah, we traveled uh, into Hearts Hollow, and we were spending some time there. We met with uh, a handful of people of the town. Uh, engaged in the local customs of the area, where uh, one of which was placing certain pebbles on the path. Although, as uh, Vera pointed out, uh, they do bear little significance given that the pebbles came from within Hearts Hollow themselves. But nevertheless, we engaged in the ritual circumstances to appease those of the town. Uh, we headed down into the Salt Lick where we uh, began to drink and party a little bit. Uh, where we came across the mayor named Ness, whom, after someone, I can't quite remember who, revealed a certain piece of information during an epic ballad, the mayor took us down to what seemed to be a, a lair or a hidden area that the mayor then revealed herself to be a none other than a bronze dragon who invoked that we should... Uh, seek out this bronze dragon egg that we had encountered a couple weeks ago at Camp Carrion Clay. As we left our conversation with the mayor, unsure of our actual goals with assistance or hindrance towards the mayor, we head over to Lavender's shop to take uh, advantage of the discounts that the mayor had promised us, where... In doing so, we were able to acquire some small potions, other bits and bobs, and my personal favorite, a, a gold replica of the famous Strummin of my family. Uh, adding that to our list of possessions, we are preparing to venture forth outside of Hearts Hollow. And that is where you find the fearless few today. And I do not have my voice lined up. That was not Jastion, but... As you were back on the way, your uh, elven friend that you, the other sea elf friend that you had met, uh, you saw up above towards this location. Change the real music up here. Uh, as you see, your elven friend that you recently met pointing at this location on the map. As he points towards you, it feels like he evaporates since he's, such, he's kind of sucked through the uh, archway here. And he vanishes as the sigil is now glowing and like this bluish tint falls over the way. And these rots nearby are kind of floating in the air. What do you do? That's how we write him out of the episode. Uh, did 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 everyone else see that? Did, yeah. Oh, did he just vanish? Was he magic? 
again, is this a regular thing that happened with you people? I think no. that actually might be a first. Okay. Is Levna with us, by the way? Yes. Okay. She's right behind she you. She's walking so a little funny. <laughs> She's walking just fine. Are you walking a little funny? You should have made him do a performance check. Or a con save. That was last night. You already been journeying this morning, walking. We kind of never mind. Uh, uh, do do we? Normally, we would send the rogue, the 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 stealthy forward, or stardust. Um, you do have your elk. I do. I don't want to immediately destroy Hydrant, though. Or evaporate him, just like, I'm sorry, he means more to me than that, that elf I barely met. Uh, no, no. I should have asked, no. what's the marching order? Give me a marching order. I'm right behind Levna. I'm following her. So wherever she is, I'm right behind her. All right. What about the other three? Ah. Yeah, I'm kind of indifferent. I, I traveled as a group. Ma I, I didn't matter to me. Uh, I can be in the front. Like that? Like so? Ooh, that work? Tokens. Yeah, that's fine. I'm okay. gonna pick up a rock and just throw it that way. <laughs> All right, you pick up a rock and you hurl it that way. As it hurls, as you hurl it that way, it's something with more rots, more sand, and all this stuff kind of weaving together as this starts moving together, and like all of a sudden, kind of like an arm another arm, a leg, a head forms. And you see like these like metal pieces on the ground that form around this creature that stands more right here in front. Okay. I did and not throw the big rock. Well, your rocket. I know, I know. Into it turns to you uh, and it starts coming at you. I need everybody to roll initiative. Yep. If, if that's the way we start combat. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. <laughs> Let me get, uh, I get your initiative. Uh... Hey, guess what? Nat one. You got a nat one? I did. Uh oh, looks like that's a surprise. Oh, no, you get hell surprise enemy. round, right? Yep. Yeah. So glad I walked in the front. Alright, you got a total of three? Yep. Uh, Mela, you got a what? Eight. Why couldn't you just got a seven? That way I didn't have to update it. Bastion, Sorry. You got a what? Twenty, right? Yep. Dirty. Clean twenty. We 20. don't shame dice here. What is yours? Uh, six. A six. Rolling so well. So well. So, so well. You got this. Uh, no one throw any more rocks. I don't know. That seemed like a good idea. 
I might get sucked up into the uh, portal again. Or gate so, or again. Door? I assume that's what happened to the the owl. Oh. Welcome in, Dino. You can shame dice here. <laughs> All right, the top of the round, Dashian Yin Boy. Well, uh, <clears throat> seeing this, uh, what, what's the approximate size of this, uh, whatever's in front of the ruined? A large construct. Uh, a large creature. You didn't hear me say construct at all. <laughs> uh, well, I'm going to start since, uh, that I'm pulling out the strumming and I'm hitting a really big power cord with it and doing an Eldritch Blast from it. That's my first shot. Just a, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, 22 to hit. Uh, 22 hits. Three damage. And bonus action. Um... see i'm gonna bardic inspiration and we're all in a group so um uh probably giving bardic inspiration to uh vera here my uh, prodigy protege I just can't seem to find my bardic inspiration button and that is my turn all right uh yeah, uh, your bardic inspiration is what a D eight, right now. There we go. Yes, one D eight. And who are you giving it to? Vera. Vera. That made sense. I've been chasing after her for a while. Uh, Levna. Y'all didn't give Levna any magical items, did you? Okay. This should make it really easy. Levna is going to run up. With her great sword. What's her movement? Dash all the way up there to get up in the, its face. That is her turn. It's going to go. He goes. <sighs> As you you hit with this elder's bash right in the middle. And its body reforms over where you shot it at. He goes. <laughs> He's gonna haste. What? Haste? Mm hmm. And with being hasted, he's gonna make uh, some slam attacks on Levna. Oh, come on. Uh, that is definitely going to hit. That's definitely going to miss. Ooh, 17 just misses. So only one of them hit. Oof. Uh, she does have an AC of 18, so. Give me another D10. Twenty points of bludgeoning damage, and she needs to make a con save. She's gonna fill that. Uh, Ooh, 
shit. So she took, what did I say, 20? She took 20 points of damage. And um, Vera, which, what you, oh no, you're surprised. Uh, Dashian, since you win, you see Levna get hit. And, <clears throat> and you can see that she's breathing heavily hard now. Be careful, this thing doesn't look easy. Uh, Would never have guessed. With that, Mela, you're up. And, uh, Dash, when you see as she's breathing heavy, she spits out some blood. That's not good. Um... Do I see her spit out blood? Your passive perception is pretty massively high. I'll say yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead um, and just do um, healing word on her. Right, she's within 60 feet of me, right? 60. Yeah. So I'm going to cast Healing Word on her. She gets four points back. How many? Four. Four. Uh, people asking about determination. Oh, no. I, I need to heal her. Eight, because I just took four away. But a, people asking about the termination is everybody can add their um, proficiency uh, proficiency bonus to any D twenty roll that they want to do, like skills and um, termination is a Jugan unique mechanism. Huh? Uh, I, I, I kind of stole it from Dork Tales, so they in. Uh, get, Kelly gave me permission to use it, so because he's took it for somebody else. But basically, determination is uh, everybody can have one determination. Add their uh, proficiency modifier to any D twenty roll. It could count towards skills, hits, or whatever, saves. It doesn't matter. Alrighty, uh, you bonus session healing word Mela. Anything else you want to do? Um. What does that look like? Um, the healing word. Yeah. What does it look like? I just yell at her. Um, feel better. Oh my <laughs> and, god! And then she kind of gets a little <laughs> bit of like a light aura around her, um, and some of the blood maybe is well not falling as quickly. Yeah. Um, but you you definitely can tell with your healing aura. Something else happened to her as well, not just straight damage. Okay. And uh, got your action and movement still. Yeah. Oh, uh, I'm going to. Uh, I don't know. The the com it's not a command. Uh, it's a viewer reward for viewer points for determination. So currently no person does not have determination is Dashian. Um, okay. Um, I guess for my action, I'm actually going to cast command on the creature or try to. Okay. It's going to make a wisdom saving throw. Does that have to have a certain uh, intelligence modifier to, for it to understand command? Um, I want to say it. There's a. If it doesn't understand my language. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna cast command. On them. Um. And what's the save? A wisdom. Fifteen. Ugh, okay. <laughs> it makes it. <sighs> All right. And 
Um, can I, I don't, tell me if I can do this. Can I wait to move until like Vera moves and I only move like half my speed? Uh, you can, it'll just take your reaction. Okay. Um, I'll just stay where I am then. I'll just, Okay. that'll be my turn. Thank you. <laughs> Vera is, as Vera is standing there, she's just shot as, like, the elf is gone. She threw this rock in the same form. She's like, even That's though it's kind of weird, which is kind of weird because you're a kinder, but you're still surprised by it. Um, but, you know, I, I but, can't be afraid. I'm not afraid. I'm just surprised. Uh, and yeah, it's yeah. probably huge compared to me, considering my size. Pretty much. We're back at the top of the round. Dashing. Oh, wait, I haven't gone yet. Did I skip you? I am so sorry. Go ahead, uh, Ellison. Thank you. You, you should have went before Vera, which... Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm still surprised. How, how close can I get with my movement? You have 30 feet, right? Ye yes. Uh, right here. Oh, damn, that's it? That's 30 feet. Damn. You want to go? Yeah, yeah, I'll move there. Um, and I'll use my action to move, try to start to go around, kind of like on that south end of that little rock pile to go around this way. Maybe not so you're going to dash? It. Yeah, I will dash around there. You want to do another 30 feet? Yep. And I will use my bonus action. That gets you 10 feet from the guy. Perfect. I will use my bonus action to... What is it called here? Uh, to bolstering rally. And I encourage Levna. <laughs> and she gains 1d8 plus 3... Uh, Temporary hit points, so I'll roll a d8. Is that your uh, little feat, whatever you got from the beginning? Yes. Okay. Oh, she gets five hit points. <laughs> Ooh, I, better than nothing. As I say, uh, go, Dave Drake Whore, go! Be careful. So like she's completely breathing hard more than just the tats <sighs> and she turns up to come up to make an attack on him completely miss wait attack twice yep 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 so yeah, she swings twice, roll terribly, and she's like, you can see her like she's picking up, she's like she has no problem picking up her greatsword. It's just the follow through swing as she's breathing heavily and cannot swing and just, just completely misses this big guy. Uh, he is up. He is going to. Make three more slam attacks. Jesus. Wait, what's your reach like? Move. He's gonna do one against Levna, two against you. A natural How twenty rude. on Lev. Let natural twenty on Levna. Ah. Another 20 total damage. Jesus. Oh. <laughs> As she gets Wally mopped with this one hit, 
she is she takes her great sword, stabs it in the ground, very leaning, holding on to it. There's like gushing blood coming out of her mouth right now. Oh boy. Uh, one of the tests is a natural two is definitely not going to hit you, but does a 21 hit you? Oh, yeah. All right. Actually, no, I forgot to add the pluses. Levna's down. Oh. Totally forgot that. I, I felt like it felt a little low for the critical hit. Uh, Levna's down, and that would be another. Uh, oh, no, no, that's not what I want. Uh, oh, yeah, that's your damage. Seventeen points of uh, bludgeoning damage, oh. Ellison, and I need a Constitution saving throw. A Constitution saving throw. Oh, that's not good. Thirteen. Thirteen. You fail. Oh. How much? How much damage did I just tell you? You took. Seventeen. What's half of seventeen? Eight. Eight rounded up or yeah. down. No, eight. It's, it's eight nine. rounded up. It's nine, nine rounded, rounded up. Yeah. yeah, nine right Your, up. your match total hit points is reduced by nine. Ah, ah. Does that mean I lose an additional nine now? Or Pretty just my? Yeah. Your match oh. total hit points is reduced, so it, it it it's rough if you fail that save. Yeah, Mela, you see Levna down on the ground. Shh. Right. Dashin, hold on. Um, I did it again. Dashin, I skipped your turn. Totally forget. Let me let me do Dashin real quick. Yeah, well, get in line. There's a lot of people wanting to do that. Um, <laughs> I'm uh <laughs> Dashin's gonna count uh cast um <clears throat> Uh, at first, I'm going to walk 30 feet closer. Um, and what is my total distance from the big from the monster? If I just as direct path as I can towards him. You get up right behind the rock and perfect. you're 15 feet away from him. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, I shall begin with casting uh, Toll of the Dead as my action. Okay. Um, it has some missing HP, yeah? So I'm rolling D12s instead of D8s. Yeah, but it has to roll a save. So what's the save? Wisdom. Wisdom save? Yeah. Uh, oh. Oh, I, I, sorry. I just hit the at will thing instead of the... Uh, 18 for wisdom save. Okay, it, it beats it. Oh, Give me an Arcana check, Dashin. Five. It's Never magical. Mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> and uh, bonus action, I am going to use something I've never used before, so I'm excited for it. Um, where is it? Just, just looking at it. Ah, I, I would like to use uh, Hexblade's Curse on it. Oh. oh I've got to get my condition readings. Give me a second. While he's doing that, and for Chad and those who aren't familiar with it, because I am one of those not familiar with it, once per short rest as a bonus action, choosing one creature within 30 feet and curse it 
for one minute or until the target dies, I die or I become incapacitated against the cursed target. I gain a plus three bonus to damage rolls and critical hits count for 19 or 20 and regain six HP if it dies. And you're concentrating on it, yeah? Yeah, I think x ways curse concentration, right? I, I don't I'm, see the word concentration to... anywhere in this. Oh. Huh. Well, Maybe Hex is concentration. Yeah, but this is Hexblade's curse. Like, this is the curse of my... Oh, it's part of your... Patron. Yeah, I don't think it yeah, is that if it's part it's of your warlock thing. class. Yeah. Alrighty. It says the curse ends early. If the target dies, I die or I become incapacitated. And until those things happen, I gain a plus three to attack rolls and 19s also count as crits. All right. And that will end my turn. Got it. And Mela. Okay. <laughs> I'd uh, also like to move up 30 feet, please, as far as I can go, I think. I'll let you know if I get too close. That's perfect. Um, and I'm going to cast Aura of Vitality. Ooh, is that concentration? Um, yes, it is. That is my action. How big is the aura? And 30 feet around me. Um, so as my bonus action, I'm going to choose, um, oh, my mind just went blank. What's her name? Who's down? Levna. 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 Um, and she's going to get six HP points, hit points back as my bonus action. So she is in my, my aura. Why is 30 feet such an odd one? There's no 30 feet one. At least I, I have. But anyway, how much? Uh, six. Is it just her or all of us? Only her. Ah. Right now. Yeah. You and choose. that will be... Sorry. You choose who you give it to? Yes. All right. Let's see... She gets a level of exhaustion. No. no, she's good. But she's. <sighs> she is struggling. Is that your turn? Yes, that is my turn. All right. Ellison. All right. For my movement, I will go. I'm basically on him, right? Can I go? Do you got? Do you do he flanking? He moved up to you. Do? No flanking. No flanking. Okay, then I there's no point. So I'll just stay here. Uh, for my bonus action, I will activate my gauntlets of flaming fury. Nice. So now my great sword is also on fire, and I will take my two attacks on him. Where's my attack? Here we go. Does that does those make your sword magical? They count the magical flames. So yes. <laughs> but does it make the sword magical? Uh, while you wear these steel gauntlets, any non-magical weapon you grasp with either gauntlet is treated as a magic weapon. Yes. Nice. Cool. So twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five hits. All right. It does. Eight plus five fire damage, so 13 total. And then second hit. So 18 oh, total. Oh, natural one. <laughs> 18 total. So he gets an opportunity to hit as you come in, slicing through, like you almost chop off its arm, and as it reforms, it comes back down on top of your head to try to hit you. Ah. <laughs> 
Uh, 21 hit again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, that is 10 points of bludgeoning damage, and I need another con save. Oh, my God. Oh, I failed again. Oh, no, 15 this time. Did, it, did a 15 beat it this time, Jugan? Oh, yeah, 15 just meets it. Huh. Meets it, beats it. Whew. Is that your turn? Yep, that's the end of my turn. Vera! No one's saving any piece of the action for me. What the hell, guys? You all just ran in. <laughs> I'm gonna click my boots together, activating them, and uh, rush forward 60 feet. 60 feet? Oh, yeah, yeah. With the boots. Uh, where do you wanna go? You wanna go behind him? If I have feet. enough, uh, okay. no, because uh, I, I need to be beside my allies, given my aura. So uh, if I have to hop over the rocks, it's fine. and just go straight in there. Easy enough. And I'm going to take two swings. You have a plus one sword, right? I do. Sweet. The way I've been rolling, let's see if that's uh, 26. 26? Is that a natural 20? Yeah. No, it's a 19. Damn. All right. Uh, swing away. Are you divine smiting as well? I can't. That's a bonus action now, and I use it for my oh. boots. So that's... Uh, you know what? Nine... Let's just go what? the old way. You, if you want to feel, since we're under the new old rules, you can just use it. We'll play like the old rules if you want to do it. Um, Mainly because you're uh, asking your ass nine well points right now. of <laughs> Nine points of damage. Nine points of slashing uh, damage. Second attack, uh, 19. 19 hits. Just eight. Eight. And that is all I can do for now. I'm gonna stay right here. Alrighty. Uh, top of the round, we have the Ashton. Did Allison go a second time? Yes, I did. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, Thank you. <clears throat> um, I cast uh, Armor of Agathis at third level. Um, I hate to kind of waste not activating my Hexblade's Curse, but... Ah, we're going to give a bardic inspiration to Ellison, who's in the thick of it. Thank you. And that's me. Lemna stands up. <sighs> going to try to make an attack. Two of them. Well, one is definitely going to miss. She has a plus six. Yeah. Uh, 18 hits. But as she hits, because she's not have a magical weapon, everybody kind of sees this in the minute vicinity. As it goes in, it just gets sucked into this creature and it breaks in half and falls down to the ground. The creature takes no damage. <sighs> Shit. And she's listening back to you. Pissed, uh, no more weapons does not defeat this creature. It's 
his turn. You coming up? Oh, actually, let's see if he, his haste recharges. Does not. So he's going to make two attacks on Vera that came running in that just did a heck of a lot of damage. Oh, it was baby damage. We talked about. I'm assuming 18 doesn't hit you. Nope. Nope. Bring it. Uh, 18 and a 17 is going to miss you. Is it <laughs> right onto your uh, shields or your shield? Uh, Melee, you're up. All right. Uh, remind me with concentration, I can't cast another spell, can I? Yeah, you can. As long as it's not another, not concentration, another concentration spell. Okay. Got it. Understood. You just can't mm. cast two level spells unless you quicken one. But you're not a sorcerer, so. Okay. Uh, let's see. I am going to cast Toll the Dead on the creature as my action. Toll the Dead. That's a wisdom yes. save. Yes. Uh, 16. All right, makes it. Um, give me, a, give me my... Arcana check. Okay. Thank you, try tots for the rose. That was on TikTok. That is a 17. 17. As you cast Toll the Dead again, and it's just kind of like the whatever this creature is, is very resilient against saves of magical portions. Okay. Cool. Um, can I check? Can I look over and see how Ellison is doing? Like, does he look, look kind of bloody? He, he doesn't look bloody, but he's probably got like a black eye. Okay, cool. Um, then I'm going to choose Levna to get another 2d6 of healing. And that is 10 um, healing hit points she gets back. All right. And um, I am going to stay where I'm at. And that's my turn. Got it. Allison. All right. I, for my bonus action, I will use Fighting Spirit. That what the hell does that mean? I get five temporary hit points. Okay. And I get advantage on attack rolls. So, and I'll take for my how two long? Attacks. Just for the just for my round, just for this. I was round. about to say that that's got to be a conjuration spell. <laughs> nope. Oh, Spider, natural twenty. Natural twenty. Yeah, Ooh. buddy. For my first nice. one. So that's. Do I roll twice for the fire damage as well, or just once? Yeah, all damage. Woo! You just don't. You don't do the. The bonus damage. right so that's 18 slashing damage and four fire damage and my second attack you only roll two fire damage <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> so that's 22 total 22 total and then my second attack uh 23 that hits all right 11 slashing and 6 fire damage, so 17. How'd that do just as much damage as your natural 20? I don't know, man. Like, <laughs> Alrighty. All right. That's that my turn. You want to describe those hits? I where i slice through that arm again and this time i'm wary of it coming back and punching me so i try to duck whether it comes at me again this time i just slice through the leg this time i'm trying to be very deft with my movement 
uh, as you slice through it, it it's like let's keep reforming keep reforming and it's like <sighs> you can see like there's like a fire bluish fire in its eyes and it's starting to starting to I don't know what's your intelligence pretty low right uh hey it's uh yeah it's nine <laughs> So it's not, it's not too nice. It looks like but... it's starting to malfunction, if that makes sense. Got it. Vera. All right. All I did was throw a rock. Cool it. Jesus. Okay. I am going to uh, call on my squire training here to do a precise strike and attack it again. The uh, precise strike gives me advantage if you're wondering what that meant. And why not? I will pump a divine smite in this. There you go. 26 again. 26 hits. That's 12 slashing. I don't do my smite enough. Where the hell is that at? Oh, wait, no. Should be 2D10. Did they move it? It's under features. Okay. But it should be 2D10. Okay, I'll just go with that because I can't find it. Uh, it depends on what level or spell level yeah, you also cast. Yeah, 2D10, damn. So, like, okay. standard 2D10. Sure? And then the higher levels, you get more. Okay, well, that was 17. 17 radiant? Yeah. All right. As you're slicing through, there's a big gash, and it's struggling to reform, keep reforming. Um, mine's actually 2d8, not 2d10, so you can take... Is it 2d8? I thought it was 2d10. Yeah, I finally found it. It's... You want to redo it? Yeah, fine. yeah I can redo that for you. How much was that don't... last one? 17? Yeah, the last one was 17. Sorry about that. I don't see a button for it, so it's by hand uh, again i don't i don't get the smite often so that's six instead of 17. <laughs> oh that was rough i rolled Yikes. a one that time boom mm. that's okay that's okay because i'm gonna hit it again um because i managed to hit it the last time i do not be able to do another advantage didn't need it 21. 21 hits And that is nine more damage. Nice. Got there anyway. Yeah. <laughs> what does that look like when you're swinging, swinging them all? I'm really, really tiny, so my longsword's going straight for the shin and then up kneecap. I was thinking maybe like you stabbed it in the toe and just or the foot and go right up the shin. Ooh, that sounds nasty. So, uh, each, each smack on him with uh, the Divine Smite present, you're going to hear, like, a clap of thunder. Alright. Is that your turn? It is my turn. Yes, Yes, Um, Bastion is going to, uh, use motivational speech, uh, so everyone around him within 60 feet gets 5 temp, temp HP. Um, he is going to, in doing so, say, um, <clears throat> in the face of adversity is where heroes are made. And then, uh, for his bonus action, I'm going to Eldritch Blast. And I messed up on the first round. Uh, I have two beams. So oh, yeah. I, yeah. And, uh, due to Hexblade's curse, these are, this is a 22. 22 hits. I'm going to go ahead and roll the second attack. Nat 20. Hey, nice. So the first one does 10 damage. 
Nice. And how do I, what do I calculate for crit? Uh, you just roll double the dash for your second one. So right click it and hit uh, crit damage. Oh, I think the first one rolled for crit damage then. So the first, oh, no. so, so, so we'll do, we'll ignore. That was a four. Yeah, but I need to ignore one of those. Uh, since technically my second one was the crit, um, the, I'll keep the four and I won't do the 10. And I'll re-roll my initial one, which was a one. So I did a total of five damage that turn. The 10 we're going to ignore because I <laughs> it automatically toggled it to two D10s for, um, for the crit. So I rolled crit twice and it should have only been crit once. So I, I took a total of five? Yes, sir. Okay. And uh, what see. that looks like is just as he's as he's starting to more fiercely play his loot, um, you know, the the shots seem to be coming out of the uh, what is this part of the guitar called? Oh shit! As he's playing the. I you know, can't shot comes and he changes the tune and the second shot goes out both of this kind of light bluish almost water looking color but uh and not excessively bright but they just kind of spark out of it for a couple of short range hits and that's my turn don't forget and your this... temp hp who's getting temp hp everyone within 60 feet of me for motivational speech oh how much how many, how many feet away from you? 60. So everybody. Oh, so Levna gets how much? Five. Every, yeah, I'll get five. All the party, including Levna. I keep minusing it. Damn it. All right, here we go. Levna, getting the... I'm doing wor I'm not doing it. I'm doing worse than I'm doing good. And she's going to leave and try to leave, and he's going to take opportunity attack against her. Ooh, that's going to hit. When he does, I will sit and I'll attack him back. Got it. 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Nope, sorry. That is 16 points of bludgeoning damage. That is not a good roll. I'm using my Bardic Inspiration. That uh, Bardic Inspiration, what was it? A D8? Correct. Okay. You also have your Determination as well. Don't forget that. Okay. Uh, half a set scene's eight, right? Yes. And that's a 17 to hit. Uh, with that, oh, actually, no, she, let's see if she, nope, she fails her con save, so, as she goes, tries to run away, she falls pretty much face down in the ground, as you come in, slicing at the arm that clobbers her, how much to hit? 17. 17 hits. Okay, good. Yay. Well, God, this is I not a good fight for Levin damage. at all. Uh, <laughs> seven. Seven slashing. Got it. Are you defined smiting yet? No. Okay. Looks like we're probably going to need to be doing some healing. <laughs> uh, is she running away? So she has to make a death saving throw at the end of her turn because she went unconscious. Okay. Uh, he is up. Let's see if he gets his haste back. Nope. Uh, and then he's going to make two attacks onto. He's going to split them up. One goes to Vera, and one goes to Ellison. Natural four and a natural five. I'm assuming you're not going to hit either of y'all. 12 and a 14, whatever. Alrighty. Yeah. 
So, Melee, you're up. All right. Um, I will... For my, uh, for the movement, I'm going to just run over to Levna, um, and I'm going to bend down and touch her real quick and just cast Spare the Dying on her, so that keeps her from dying. Okay, so she's um, stabilized. But yep. Will she also get and, healing from your thing, or you, you choose who you give it to? No, uh, it's like, uh, healing energy radi radiates off of me. Um, but it doesn't say that anybody gets healed, um, unless I use a bonus action. Okay. So, um, speaking of bonus actions, I'm going to go ahead and cast Spiritual Weapon, um, and attack the cr creature. So that is... A 10, wait, yeah, a 10 to hit. What's your proficiency modifier? Uh, plus three. Even if you use that, you still miss, so. Yeah. So that's okay. <laughs> I shall leave it there. <laughs> You're one short. If you roll, uh. like, a, if you roll 11 and use your determination you would have hit him that's all good i'll leave it there that'll be my turn all righty ellison all right i will use as a bonus action bolstering rally again oh wait yes no no i will not yet use that then actually because they already have temp hp so what other bonus actions do I have? Uh, yeah. I'll use Fighting Spirit again to give myself uh, uh, advantage on attack rolls. And the How many times can you thing. do that? I can do it three times per long rest. Nice. And I'm going to take my attacks. Uh... 24. Yep. Uh, 10 slashing and 4 uh, fire damage. So 14. 14. Second attack. Ooh, 25. And it does 17 slashing damage. Or 17 slashing and fire damage. What does this look like as you're cutting into it like butter? Uh, this time I'm going to do a, I slash once and I do a spin move and slash the second time. I'm trying to look cool doing it, but I, it's clear that I'm not like super experienced with it. It's more that I've, I've basically practiced these moves in the air and never really on a person. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're currently standing instead of Dane, so... That's true. Vera, Vera, you're up. Alrighty. Well, this is going so well. I'm going to attack it again. How many times I gotta hit a rock? Um, I will use precise strike again. The load. Come on. Come on. Thank God I did. 24. 24 hits. Y'all just killing on the rolls tonight. I started out on strong the, and then just started rolling attack low. Rolls, my, uh, my damage rolls have been shit. That's eight slashing. And I am going to channel some magic into the next one. And bonus action, thunderous smite. So you're going to see uh, electricity form up on my blade. And then I'm going to attack this idiot again. And probably roll really low. Hey, 23. 
23 hits. So that is finally a better attack. Uh, 12 slashing and... 6 thunder. 12 slashing, 6 thunder, so that is... 18? Yes. I don't think it's going to matter because it's huge, but uh, I need you to make a strength saving uh, saving throw. He's probably very strong. What was this for? It, it, me hitting it with the... Uh... So is a magical effect moving it? Or trying to move it or something? It's part of the Thunder Smite, so yes. And... Holy shit! I rolled two net 20s. I'm glad you wasted them on that. I know. I think it was the first time ever I've rolled two net 20s. It was just going to push you back 10 feet. Something I didn't actually really need to happen. You can stay right there. I'm so excited that my first time ever rolling a two net 20s, I'm playing a monster and not an actual character. Two oh. for something so mediocre. <laughs> you. Yep. Damn. Waste all of them. Waste all of them. Don't hit us with them instead. We're falling with style. <laughs> is that your turn? That is my turn. Yes. She... Uh, invigorated by the uh, actions of my comrades, I am going to uh, fire two more Eldritch Blasts. Sixteen. Sixteen hits. Six damage. Second one goes off to a twenty-three for eight damage. Total of fourteen. Uh, bonus action, my third Bardic Inspiration to return to... Well, this one let's do on Mila, who's right next to me. <clears throat> And that's my turn. I, I suppose ranger, I would like what's to. What's your range? your yeah? What's the range of your bardic? Sixty feet, right? Question. Yeah. I'm assuming you don't uh, have to stretch out. Yeah, sixty feet. Sixty feet. So you want to move? <clears throat> I, I, yeah, I just want to move directly behind uh, Mila. Uh, kind of like thinking, being how small she is and my size, like a penguin straddling an egg kind of thing. I'm not necessarily straddling her, but I'm very close behind her with the intention of if it were to get past the other two that I could step in front of Mila. Very nice. All right. Is that your turn? Yep. That's it. Let to stabilize this turn. All right. Finally gotta roll this. Should have rolled that for uh, the thing. Let's see if it gets uh, haste regeneration. Nope. So, as you both see, <laughs> like a machine like going off the rails it's just like going crazy and it's head i'm gonna since there's two creatures two of you right there i'm gonna roll a d4 uh one and two is gonna be vera and three and four is gonna be elsa Ellison. It's going to be Vera. It's going to. That was cop. 
but that's not going to hit. But does a 23 hit? Shield. <laughs> Fafanopoli, huh? I'm a shield maiden, okay? All right. Um, my AC is now 27. Now, question, does that count as a successful hit on Vera? It just did no damage? No, it's like a magical it shield bounces. that kind of blots us. Like, yeah. yeah. You see a magical shield apparate in front of me. And right, it bounces right. off of that. All right. Uh, the second round of attacks. Uh, a 27 hit, Vera? Uh, exactly. Yep. And then uh, assuming 25 does not hit. Does not. All right. Uh, 16 points of bludgeoning damage, and I need you to make a con save. 17. 17, you save. So you don't take any reduced hit points. It's That is its turn, as is now. Everybody sees it as... This head is now focused right on Vera. Just <laughs> Melee, you're up. Is it like bent over to see my tiny foot? My three foot two? So I, I imagine what I'm picturing is like you got your shield up and you're just like down on the ground. It's just pounding you into. Maybe it could be like, you know, Tony Stark. Tony Stark hitting the Hulk in that one scene. Just... <laughs> All right. So, uh, Mila, what are you doing? All right. Um, I shall go ahead and try and hit again with my spiritual weapon. Got it. That is 25 to hit. Is that a natural 20? No, it was 19. Yeah, that hits. Cool. And then we're going to do seven points of damage. Nice. I don't think I ever hit with spiritual weapon in our last nope. campaign. Nope. Never oh. once. I think, you had, I think you had like one or two hits. But I think that like was about once it. or twice, yeah. And then I just stopped preparing. I, I think it was the final <laughs> fight. I think it was the final fight when you finally hit with it. Oh, it might have been, actually, now that you say that. Because I remember making a big deal out of it. <laughs> uh, Mela, what's your action? Um, I'm going to try um, Sacred Flame at it. And it's a Set. dexterity saving throw. I mean, I already told you he has advantage on stuff like this. <laughs> yeah, I know, but might as well try. Ooh. Oh, I rolled two 15s, so 14. Passes. So 14 he passes. Total. He still passes? Yeah, he still passes. Yeah. Hmm. All righty. Yeah, that, it was yeah. right at 14, so. uh, That is my turn. Ellison. All right, now I will use bolstering rally on uh, Vera, and she will get 13 temporary hit points. Oh, thank you. And then I will take my two attacks again. Oh, this one's not advantage. This is just regular. Uh-oh, 17. 17 hits. Yay. Uh, 20 total points of damage. And then Ellison. second is... Oh, shit. Yes. Oh, that how, was would you, how would you like to do this? Uh, I will run in and take my first slash. And because he kind of, like, disintegrates underneath, I'll try to go for a second one. But if he's just kind of, like, drooping down now, I just kind of stand underneath them with the sword, trying to, like, hit the moving parts. As this clay golem 
kind of, as you come in, it just kind of disperses all the rots and the, the dirt and the mound and everything just kind of dispersed back into the ground. And... Combat is over. Uh, what the hell go. was that? <clears throat> Way to go, Noobie. Uh. So, uh. there's a first for all of you, too, fighting a giant rock thing. A rock man. Man rock. What made you think it was a man? Rock person? Person rock? Ah, Lady Dracord! And <laughs> I try to go yeah. running over to her. As you run over, she is stabilized thanks to Mela. Would I know that, though? How s I am not very smart, as you've said. Okay, make a medicine check. Oh, 18. You can see that she is stabilized, but she is not conscious. I just try to get her into a comfortable position and just try to, like, stop any bleeding or anything like that and just checking her out. Uh, for, oh, with your, uh, with your pretty high roll of medicine check, uh, so above tables, she has a total nine hit, 19 hit points right now that she can max out. Oh, jeez, What? Yeah, she took a lot of hits and she failed a lot of con saves. I was gonna say, damn. I could not roll terribly for the con saves. I was like, Jesus. Not roll terribly. Um oh, I'm sorry. So everybody, this was the clay golem that I 3D printed today and um, uh, painted. Thank you. And for you guys. Sweet. Yeah, yeah it's a man. That's, that is Lit Studios' miniature. <clears throat> I will run over to uh, Sir Levna and reach down to cast Lay on Hands for one HP. Dame Libla. Dame. Uh, I must get me a magical weapon like you guys have. You missed all the fun. If you had had, if I had known we needed magical weapons to begin with, I could have made your weapon magical. Next time. Next time, next time. Um, give me a Arcana check, Vera. Anybody proficient with Arcana can give her advantage if you like. I would like that because I am definitely not proficient. Is anyone proficient with Arcana? Help. I'm only half proficient. I'm I have proficient. negative one to Arcana. <laughs> okay, oh. none of us are. are oh, uh, if you're half, I give it to you. If you want Dashin to help you, or that, uh, actually Dashin should care. <laughs> so, no, that yeah, was yesterday's song. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that is a flat fourteen because I don't have any bonus to that. Um, what you know and what you, uh, after you do your lay on hands, uh, what would restore her maximum hit points and also Ellison's, uh, would be a greater restoration spell or something. Oh, great. Thing that gets rid of petrification that we are not capable of doing. <laughs> yeah. Do we have, even have access to that yet? <laughs> No. Yeah, I didn't think so. You, you'll be fine. You, you, you look, you look 
wonderful. I'd help you up, but I'm I'm tiny, and I think you'll just make me fall over. But you you'll be fine, Levna. It is my medical opinion. What you level will be do y'all get it at? Fine. Eight. I don't. I know we've I... got lesser restoration by now, but I have lesser restoration anyway. Good way. Yeah, I don't know when I would get greater. Yeah, I, uh, I you're you're half caster, so it'd be a little bit longer. I think Mel would be. Yeah, the I know. One. It's a fifth level spell. Yeah, fifth level spells yet, Mela? No, only fourth. So probably next level. Yeah. Or go find some. But uh, as you, you can still see this uh, arch location. The rots are still kind of floating. The sigil in the ground is still flashing white or flashing. If I throw another rock, is it going to reappear? Let's not test that theory. I don't oh, know if we can get through another one. Ah, oh, come on. Who dares me? I dare you. You don't have the guts to throw another one. I will throw a rock at Dashin. Oh. <laughs> Roll an attack. <laughs> but the improvised weapon. <laughs> Unfortunately, too, for me, Vera, you have advantage on it because you took a hit with... Um, motivational speech you got hit by the thing so you, you have advantage on whatever your next attack is really 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 <laughs> okay i'll try not to rock 26 that was a nat 20. <laughs> roll your improvised weapon damage four was that crit wasn't it that's that's the crit Four. <clears throat> so you basically rolled a two, you have a four. Yeah. You take four bludgeoning damage from the rock as it hits you right in the side of the jaw. And it cuts you a little bit. You got a little bit of a cut on your chin. On your, you know, your little jawline there. Oh, hey, that's where I make my living here. <laughs> ah, another rock monster didn't appear. Hmm. I'm going to head over toward the archway and check it out. I'd be following. <clears throat> as as I walk up there with her, uh, I want to ask her. Um, so like, um, <clears throat> do you think this was just here, or did someone put it here in hopes that we would stumble across it? Well, I doubt they. I mean, that thing seems very unstable. I think it's been here a while, but what do I know? And do we have any idea what happened to Inaris? Maybe he was the rock thing? <laughs> hey, we just we just met Ness. She wasn't who she said she was. Maybe he was that rock golem thing. Who am I to know? What uh, we should look around for some clues do? to see about where this thing came from. Would because we're to, all uh... so very magical here. We, we definitely will figure this out. Alrighty. Uh, you want to investigate this location? Yeah. Alright. Uh, anybody that has pat magic or spell casting or a spellcasting feature you can spend one minute to investigate the gate. Or, oh, I said too much, but whatever. Investigate this location. Does that include you, Dashin? Yeah, I have a pa I have packed pack magic. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> am I next to Vera? If you'd like to be yeah, after I throw I rocks at you. Following up to the to the area. I'm letting that go. You can have that. 
that was fair. So as you all investigate, you you have a couple of choices. You can either uh, spend a first level spell slot or take your chances on an arcana check to, because as you um, are looking at this, you determine this is some arcane gate that um, the sigil in the back is a teleportation circle that is malfunctioning. To stabilize it, you can either spin a level one spell slot or try to roll an arcana check. I don't know. Do we want to stabilize this? We don't even know where it teleports to. Well, I mean, it's kind of our responsibility to make sure that Anaris can be saved if he uh, is he was in totally danger. that rock creature. Come on. You've known him for like two seconds. We're on a yes, mission here. I don't want to listen to Ishvern complain that I let one of his henchmen get vanished into a portal, or worse, killed at our own hands. Or rather, his hand, and point towards Ellison. I, I mean, I every time we have stopped to go save people, we have lost people instead. We should probably stick to mission on point. Vera, it wouldn't kill you to be a little more compassionate, would it? I'm going to punch him in the shoulder while casting Lay on Hands for the four HP that I took from him. Oddly enough, this is a soothing punch. As you're, you're probably you're sitting there bracing, thinking he's going to be hurt, but it actually kind of almost like a strong massage. A strong massage. <laughs> oh, that wasn't half bad, Vera. I'm passionate enough. Well, what do you make of these runes? I know you've got a lot of uh, runes tattooed all over yourself. Uh, do you recognize any of these that you see before us? This is definitely beyond me. I'm not sensing divine magic here, so there's no point in me asking Freya. Um, you would... have more magics than me. You're not getting more compliments than that. That that was it. If you're waiting. I suppose I can accept that. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I I don't believe this is something I'm familiar with. Uh, I would like to toss an item into the the circle. Uh, the circle. Yeah, the runes on the ground. Um, something meaningless. Uh, just grab something from my inventory here. So to clarify, you haven't spent a spell lot. You haven't not we haven't, it. We haven't fixed it yet. Correct. Okay. So I'm wherever you toss, toss the, torch. the torch lands in the middle of the circle and nothing. Yeah, it looks uh, like whatever was happening doesn't seem to be happening anymore. Why don't you uh, step up on it and take a closer look, Vera? I am not trusting you at all, at all with that. No, you Would do I it. Don't let anything bad happen to you. Careful, because I'm about to cast command on you. Oh, you like to be in charge. Well, I can be submissive if you like, but I don't know if right now is the best time. And then I'm going to 
not give her a chance to respond to that and turn and uh, kind of call Mila over and Ellison as well if they're comfortable enough with uh, with um, the dame's status. She's uh, awake again, right? Yeah. Yeah, I will help her up and try to bring her over. Okay. If she's willing, or just set her up against those rocks. Wherever, wherever she wants to be. I mean, she, she doesn't have a lot of hit points. Doesn't mean she's struggling to walk. She her okay. strength ain't, her strength ain't go anywhere. Okay. Yeah. And we will all approach there. Uh, well, Levna, uh, Ellison, Mila, where are you going? Mila. Yeah, I'm uh, going. Have you three ever seen runes similar to this? Um, uh, in a book, maybe, but to be honest, uh, I mean, you already know I'm not the most tedious person, so this looks like gibberish to me. And I glance to, uh, Levna to see if she is, looks at me disapprovingly again. <laughs> She's just kind of like shake, trying to shake the cobwebs out right now. Well, if we're not going to do anything with the big creepy door, let's head on back to our original mission. Well, wait, shouldn't we find out what happened to Daenerys? That's what right. I said. I have that. no idea if this is a gate. He was teleported somewhere. We don't know where. I don't know how to activate this. He's throwing shit in it. He probably doesn't know how to activate it either then. So. Don't know what else we can do here. Other than yes. So we saw him just walk through here and then he just went poof I suppose it's possible that how swift he moves his fingers and whatnot that uh, he could just be invisible you know perhaps a little showmanship occurred that is uh, a magic trick I don't think I've ever seen before a disappearing act uh, to this yeah, don't they have to come back Level. isn't that a whole part of the magic I've not been to magic shows before. Um, I would like to strum my, my strumming, um, and use one of its charges, uh, for levitate. But I'm not, uh, since it doesn't have a verbal component to it, it's just from playing the instrument. Um, mm -hmm. I'm only wanting to levitate, like, an inch maybe a, a very obscure minimal minimally noticeable amount and walk towards it or like walk into the the circle but i'm not so, walking into it because i'm levitating all right so way levitation works you can just hover so if you time it just right as you're stepping forward you can levitate that way i'll allow that Okay, that is what I'm attempting to do. And in a, in a sense, I'm trying to deceive the party that it might be safe to walk on. Got it. Does anything happen when I crest the edge of the rune? Until you spend a spell slot or try to stabilize it with an arcana check, nothing's going to happen. I kind of gave you that away, which you're uh, looking at it. kind of gave you that. So I give you two options of fits that are the teleportation circle if you decide to fix it if not we'll just spend like two more weeks trying to travel it's fine <laughs> I would like to place my hand on one of the parts of the archway I guess and I'll go ahead and use up a, a spell slot 
and see if I can try and stabilize it. Okay. Um, uh, give me an Arcana check. Oh, no, no, you did the spell slot. Yeah, okay. I did. As you do that, you see uh, you focus all your magical er energy through you into the rots. As you can see, the rots hovering around start going right back into their places that they were hovering from. You can't really do it, but you see this pedestal stand back up. And as it stands back up, it shoots right into the top of the archway. And underneath, dashing, the runes start flashing and become a solid flash and you're gone oh shit oh. where did he go oh what the heck did i just do yeah yeah is he invisible that 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 that's what <laughs> well that's what i said Dachin, are you invisible I'm going to walk forward to where he was at. You're invisible. Oh. I mean, not well, invisible, but you're gone. You teleport. There, are you invisible? They're gone. They're gone. You know what? Uh, is Levna with us, too? Levna waltz in. She's gone. Oh, shit. All right, Ellison. <laughs> Together? All right. I'm, I'm nervous. We might just... Okay. I will grab, I'll reach up and grab his hand and pull him with me. I squeeze way tighter than I should be. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We're fine. <laughs> with that, you go. <laughs> we'll cut to our break and we'll be right back. It's a good stopping point. Enjoy some clips. Welcome back. Um. As each of y'all get sucked through the portal. Let me go to where I needed to go, which was... My favorite way to go through a portal. I'm glad you and I both saw each other. <laughs> yeah. As you appear... Another similar gate as you come through. Actually, no, I'm not even going to do that. Uh, you appear amidst, amid natural stone formations of the northern waste. A broken, hundred foot spire lies half buried. A massive spire's base and toppled pinnacle would be easy to would be easy where it were not the excavation sites and abandoned tents surrounding them. Uh, I, it's been so long ago. Anybody do research on the Sunward Far uh, Fortress? Uh, well, I'm pretty sure it's the Sunward Citadel, but. Uh, you're making me clean out my notes. How no, dare it's you? Fortress. I'll laugh. It'll probably be Bowroom. Oh no, he didn't do any of the uh... reading. The reading, didn't he? Jesus. So... It was me. It was yeah. I was about to say it was the Hina. Yeah, it was me. I need to organize this better. Oh, it was you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, where is my map? So, you remember where it was pinged at on your map, which is D. Yeah, D, mm -hmm. all the way up uh, over here by the spires of dawn. You now left where High Hunt is, and now across 
to the, I think the last location that Dalamar asked y'all to research for it. Well, uh, what is uh, what aside from a natural rock formation? Is there anything else we can see, like perhaps on the horizon, uh, above or below? Anything that looks uh, significantly relevant to our mission? Like, uh, I mean, can we see the fortress? Yeah, I mean, you can see the spire. Uh, basically, there's a there's a bunch of tents where you can, and there's clearly the entrance. If you would like to go into the entrance, mm-hmm. or do you want to sit here and rest up? Time of day is it? Oh, y'all left like I think mid morning, right? So yeah, yeah. So I'll say it's probably get. I will say it's probably about midday because you travel and not too far out. You had this fight and just say midday, flavor sake, simplicity purposes. Uh, Do the tents look like they might be inhabited? Because I'm assuming you're saying tents are set up like an excavation site. Someone was researching. Are they still yeah. researching, or does it look abandoned? Kind of looks abandoned. Or nobody's been around for a while. Well, I'm going to bend down and pick up a rock and kind of toss it to Vera. <laughs> and and uh, be like, well, go ahead and let's see what <laughs> if anything happens this time. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'll accept the rock, but I'm just gonna walk. <laughs> As we like come through the portal, do we see any sign of Anaris? I don't know if you said that. Sorry. No. Uh, no, you do not. Okay. Uh, actually, give me an investigation check. Is thirteen. Uh, you see footprints leading away from where you're at, and it leads right into the, um, appears to be the base of, like, where, um, an entrance into this fortress would be at. Well, uh, I think this is the only sign we have of, uh, Anaris, if this is where the portal brought him. Should we try and follow where he might have gone or find our own path. It is logical to assume that uh, this would be if he were here, he might he might be in there. Uh, can I see the coast from here? Like I'm I'm seeing yes. ocean. Wonderful. Yes. Don't you have the ability to like send a message to someone like you did your Ishran? Uh, yes, I, I do, as a matter of fact. Couldn't we just try Anaris and see where the hell he is instead of just blindly running around looking for him? We could, but I don't seem to have any more gas in the tank, if that makes sense to you. Well, didn't take much. I don't know enough about Anaris to know what he would have done after being teleported here. But it's not really safe to just be going into another temple. Do you remember what happened the last time? Oh, there's only one of us now that would remember. Why? What happened to the rest? Indeed. What did happen? We almost drowned. Because we didn't well, wash our hands me. first. Is it the deciding vote that we're going after Anaris down here, guys? Yeah. Uh, for, I, I am in agreement with that. Uh, but I will store my loot and uh, have my trident out. And this is also one of the places that uh, Dalamar asked y'all to research. To check out for the City of Lost Names, yeah. But I thought he had already found stuff, and that's why we were supposed to be meeting him at Wakenrath. Or no, we were just meeting him after we checked out his places first. Okay, it has been a while. Yeah, this is um, the last place on the list that he asked you to check out. Check out. So, the other one was, I think the other one was, uh, uh the, was... dang, Blue Shrine. This one, and then Waking Rift was the other one, but he was going to meet you there. If I remember correctly. All right. 
Well, let's back. go ahead then. I guess it's a. Is it a good sign that it looks like they were uh, that someone's already been digging here and then left? Yeah. Uh, perhaps they found what they were looking for. Yeah. Is that a good up. sign or a bad sign if uh, they found anything that toward the lost names? Like, is this the Dragon Army? Do we see any bits of Dragon Army paraphernalia? Like, dropped flag? Uh, let's see. Uh, Oh, if you remember correctly, uh, uh, oh, Jesus Christ, my name is drawing a blank on, um, well, what's his name? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because that's what happens when we take breaks. Bob yeah, Rumper no. Humperdink? No, no, no. The one that has fallen behind with the army. Oh. Dare it? There, there you go. Remember, he was telling you that he found some. Uh, they found some uh, those. Uh, creatures in this area. That like uh, was like somebody, but it was like. Uh, what is the term I'm looking for? Not mutilated. Um, Mutated? Mutated. There we go. Thank you. Mutated creatures from around this would, area. <clears throat> would the <clears throat> remnants of the camp that are there um, be identifiable as, you know, Derrett's group or Dragon Army? Like, would we have any knowledge by the compound that was once occupied uh, as it, to whom it belongs as you, to? Uh, uh, give me an investigation check. Sixteen. Um, you... What you do find... Uh, you do find enough dried meat to sustain one person for ten days. So basically, rations. Uh, you also find... 12 dirty shovels, an overturned wheelbarrow, and a suit of leather armor bearing the Dragon Queen symbol. Good job, uh, Who has a passive... Is there a passive survival check? Like kind of like your passive perception. Is there a passive survival? I only see insight, perception, investigation. All right. Uh, somebody give me a survival check. Anyone? All of us? Or? 20. 30, 20. That's fine. Uh, you notice two types of clawed footprints amid the camp. Some are roughly human-sized. Others are twice that size. Uh, since you all have seen draconian footprints, you recognize the smaller prints as draconian. Um, but you do not understand what the bigger footprints are. Huh. Well, they're not rock creatures. They don't seem to be around now, though, so that's fine. We can just continue on. But, yeah, but you get the feeling that this was being excavated by the Dragon Army at some point. Then it's not a good sign that they're not here anymore. They didn't find anything. We probably won't find anything either. Uh, I suppose it's possible that, you know, something bad happened to them during the excavation. You mean the, the weirder, bigger prints here? Wouldn't yes, we see um, bodies? Well, if I recall, uh, some of the 
draconians tend to not leave corpses behind. That's true. Of course, not all of them are draconians. But we are in the waste, and as we've seen, there are other creatures here, so if they haven't been here recently, then if there were any bodies, they were probably dragged off and eaten by something else. Hmm. Well, let's just go inside. <laughs> Unless you guys need to rest first. Uh, Ellison, how are you feeling? I know you took some hits there. Uh, yeah. I'm, uh... I, I'm good right now, but if we were to face another, uh, rock person or... You guys said bigger monster, draconian, like, you know... Not sure how we would fare on that one. Does it look like we could reuse these tents to take a rest here? You can. They're not like damaged or anything. I think y'all had tents too, didn't you? Or didn't? Yeah, didn't you? but well, no, you know, it saves we time. Always used Just, Mila's, uh, plus, yeah, we used the bubble. But oh, that's also, right, we used the bubble. But also, if these tents have the Dragon Army emblem and everything already on it, then they provide a protection in and of itself just looking yeah. like that so or even just be completely rest, protected just use the dome we'll use the dome inside the tent I don't think it's big enough brain thinking did we want to rest here well how's everyone else feeling are we talking a short or a long you talking about How camping for you... the night, or just taking a little afternoon tea? Did we need more? I mean, I can keep going, but... How the rest of us? Actually, um... Uh... Did somebody roll an investigation check? 13? 16? Roll me another investigation check. Anybody, everybody? Whoever what? did the main. <laughs> <laughs> the two minus one. <laughs> so, who had the highest? So, Dastrin, <laughs> you have no. you found a potion that's kind of like a whitish, and you also find like a spell scroll. <clears throat> um, I will uh, pocket the spell scroll um, and I'll bring the potion back for the group's knowledge. Excuse me. But I'm going to kind of be holding it like I don't want to be touching it. And uh, <laughs> just be like, um, this could maybe be of some use to someone. Have you poisoned it? No, I only just found it. it uh, looks like something I recognize, but I certainly hope it is not that. Gross. You're not going to look at the spell in the spell scroll at all? Uh, I, 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 I... He doesn't want to do it in front of us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you may want to do an Arcana check on the potion. None of us are Arcana. <laughs> I'll try. <laughs> we lost all of our Arcanas. Hey. Mila, you recognize this potion as a potion of greater restoration. Ooh. Oh. Well, this is a potion of greater restoration. Um, should we try and save it just in case we run into draconians or? Levda has oh. nineteen hit points. Is, isn't that what Levda needs? <laughs> I was going to say, needs? and Ellison too. Yeah. And Ellison right. to get their hit points back to normal. All right. Or whatever you would call that. Indeed. Yeah. I'll hand the potion. Feel better. 
Okay. I'll, I guess I'll hand the potion to Lovna since she's down pretty far. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. She says, thankfully I have an extra long a great sword. Why didn't you pull that out before? I was down on the ground. <laughs> you ran away. You broke your sword, then turned around. Don't think I didn't see that and ran away. You could have just pulled out the sword then. Then it, I could have made it a magical weapon. It was I, a tactical I have retreat. How do you do that? You ran away bravely. All right, rest. I'm sure she felt great. Well, I don't want to make her useless, so she's going to have another great sword, all right? (laughs) (laughs) She'll look at us like, grab my spare, grab my spare great sword. (laughs) (laughs) Gotcha. (laughs) I I forgot we have 11 now. We, we, We need to at least take a short rest. Yeah. That'd be much appreciated. And she goggled down. So yeah, we'll we'll take up camp here for a short rest, real quick, before we proceed further. Yeah. I sure. I am gonna help myself to some of that dried meat that we just found. That Lord knows how long it's been sitting in the desert. Uh, how many uh short rest hit die do you have? Oh, we can just roll them all, right? If you want, yeah. She went from 52 hit points to 19. That was rough. She'll use three hit die. Get 16 more hit points. So she's 46 of 52. Okay. And that short rest, Dash, are you looking at the spell scroll? Yes, please. All right. Uh, it is. What languages do you speak? Um. be under your on the left side all the way at the bottom oh. <clears throat> common and kinder that's it the only two mm-hmm. you do not know what this spell says you can tell you with your arcane knowledge enough you know it's a spell but it's not written in a language that you know you're an elf you don't speak elvish I suppose not <laughs> <laughs> you should <laughs> Have to go in your character sheet and fix that. <laughs> I can adjust it. But either way, it doesn't. It's not Elven either, so. So I don't know if you want to give somebody else a shot at it. Well, actually, they don't know you have it, so never mind. <clears throat> Yep. Uh, guys, look what I just found. There's this scroll here, but I can't seem to read it. <laughs> and I present it to the party. Does anybody read Draconic? That was our oh. ranger. I you do. Oh, you do. Nice. There's Claire's got like a billion languages, so. Oh well. Mela, you're looking at it. It is, it, it's a spell scroll. You can use it to cast a spell, but it's also written in like. It, it's it's weird. It's a weird spell scroll. It's also kind of written like ingredients to make. Uh, potions of greater restoration. 
Or it has uh, like ways written you could cast it and it dissolves the spell. Or you can use it to make greater restoration potions with. Interesting. This is like a recipe for greater restoration potions. And or you can use the spell uh, scroll to cast greater restoration. Pretty fascinating I scroll you found there, Daz. I assume if you cast it, though, it'll destroy the scroll. I feel like that's usually how scrolls work. Yeah. Yeah. Can we Do copy we have the anything? recipe? <laughs> like, can you read it out loud and you can say, like, hey, three pinches of whatever. Um, I'm sure we can do that. I uh, might even be able to translate it into common, maybe. Um, would help. But I'm sure I would have to undertake that during the rest or something. Okay. I don't know. Might take me a second. It's kind of written weird. Like old draconic or something. I don't know. Well, if you want help transcribing, I can, uh, I can write it out for you. Awesome. Thanks, Elfman. Cool. All uh, right. Dasky, How's everyone feeling? <laughs> mm, I'm fine. You can, you can hold on to it. Cool. I'm we feeling fine. Time. Yeah. Right, uh... Head back out if necessary. Levna, how about you? What do do you do? All right. So we're gonna peruse this temple and try to find as much as we can about the city of lost names. Do 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 do. We turn to Is the map loading? Will it load? As you start entering the first level You can see What appears To be somebody with like a, a tome or a book. Now you're inside. Let me kill this ocean. Like kind of scrunchiving or kind of jotting stuff down or kind of seriously focused into the wall with a, a tome. Gather in you, Mela, with your probably senses gathered. This was what you probably found outside was this person was using us. This was probably her, their stuff. She has blonde hair, kind of like down to the shoulder, pale, uh, fair skin. Um, she is kind of wearing like some monk outfit, like a kind of a brownish and tan top she has a book kind of summoned and then on her back she has a staff and then she she's so focused on what she's doing that's uh oh doesn't notice you as you walk in uh did you say this was a human yes hmm Hello. As she turns to face you, Jazz will pick up with her character next time. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Cuz Jazz is feeling, playing but... <laughs> Yeah, Jazz is going to be coming back as a new character. Uh we both agreed uh she wanted to like we pretty much agreed that uh we had a discussion if Carrie would come back or not. Like it was a toss up between would she would Bill want her to continue the mission or would she just 
stay with Balram or ensure that it's gone. So make sure he and, gets to his tribe. Yeah. So, and uh, with the toll that character did and everything, she felt like it was a good, uh, good ending for her character, for that character anyway. And I'm like, I concur. And then at the time, we had a rogue. <laughs> So we really didn't need another road that would have helped. So, so she is now playing a monk, multi-class wizard. Whoa, what? Yeah. So, it'd be interesting. I have to. We have to do the roles and all that. Finish character shut up. But we we have the character. We just have to. We have to sit down and finish tweaking and building the character. But she'll be back on the twentieth. This next time we'll be back. It looks like I got to do a lot of editing again for overlays, the intro page, and everything because we lost another player. So, uh, Anyway, uh, thank you guys for hanging out. Uh, we'll pick up here. I got to build this place. I'm going to have fun building this one. I just printed off that while we, when we first started. I was printing off the little red rock in the bo bottom of the map that you all see So, because uh, I got some translucent red okay. resin. And I was able to print it off. So, uh, but yeah, I why I hear myself echoing. I hear myself echoing for some reason. But all right. Uh, with that being said, thank you for watching. Um, uh, if you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your favorite part was. If you've been watching on TikTok, thank you for hanging out. Uh, when somebody left the rose, so appreciate the rose there. Lovely. And uh, it's kind of an experiment for TikTok Live. I don't know. We were doing it there for a little bit for the Black Order. Yeah, it's trying something out. Uh, with that being said, we'll go around the horn. Y'all can we'll go from following me. So we'll start with uh, Cleansing Rain. Uh, do your shout outs and all that good stuff. And head on down the line where I'll find somebody for us to raid. Uh, hey, Cleansing Rain, playing Dashjin Yenvery um, in this Dragonlance campaign. Uh, consider myself a partially retired streamer, although I still like to participate in streams and and uh, definitely enjoying D&D. &D. Um, no plans for my near future aside from D&D &D campaigns and the charity event coming up in October. Uh, hi, I'm Nylish. I will also be in that charity event um, coming up in October. Uh, I am a d, d enthusiast and cosplay enthusiast. You're not going to be able to recognize me in the um, October one because I'm a kobold in that one, so trust I'm not going to look like this. Um, uh, my streaming's very sporadic right now. Um, I've been doing really old retro games, uh, PS2 games, randomly. Hopefully, but yep, that, that's about it. Uh, bookworm. Hey everybody, Bookworm here. Um, playing Mela, our cleric. I am not a streamer. This is my first ever like real D and D campaign that I've ever played. Um, and we were doing another one, but unfortunately that fell through just due to schedule. So maybe in the future we'll come back to that one. But for now, this is my only campaign. And um, yeah, I'm super excited to see the charity stream. Um, and yeah, having a good time. All right. And uh, Sendo. I'm Sendo playing the inexperienced human fighter, Ellison. Um, not a streamer as well, just playing D D with some randos I found online. It turns out I've I lucked out pretty well. So uh, but I will be watching the charity uh, charity stream as well. I am not a part of it, but uh yeah, it'll be cool to see you for the first time actually. All right, uh we'll be raiding out to uh, or guy guru uh he gave me a raid the other night so i'm just kind of returning to favor i have no other D, D streamers streaming right now so they're playing uh guru is playing seven days to die 
I think that's what it is. So we'll be heading into there and uh, showing some love. Uh, this is the chats for if you're just a follower. Here's a raid emote for just being a follower. And if you are a subscriber, these are your subscriber emotes. Just go drop in there and show some love. We play, me and him play together in Reigns, uh, uh, Nightmare Before Oz. So it will be returning in November. Last uh, was put out. So, and then, um, yeah. And then, then uh, again, in October, we have our charity stream for Breast Cancer Research Foundation with all these lovely people. So thank you very much for hanging out. And uh, we'll see you uh, probably on later tonight, actually, because I work night. So I'll probably continue my honor run on Brothers Gate 3. So uh, if not, we've, next D&D stream will be Order the Goblet on Sunday. Thank you, guys. Have a wonderful night. Good night. I can feel it burn.